Hello, I'm Jo and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because we are going to be playing with a super fun new product. We are going to be playing with the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe Volume 2. I've really gotten a ton of use out of this, um, both professionally and just in like my everyday life. Um, I did buy this one with my own money, and then I have since purchased multiple to give to friends. My only real complaints about the original Jaclyn Hill palette, other than it being all white, was that it did not have the shadow names in the um, in the packaging itself, if that makes any sense. Um, usually they come with one of these like slips of paper that has them printed so you can lay it on top and look at it, but like who keeps that piece of paper except for that I did. I did with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I kept it for quite a long time and eventually I threw it away because I got frustrated having to move it every time I used it, which was often. Anyways, I did notice that in the volume two, the shade names are actually right under the product itself. So super excited about that. Um, you guys know that I'm a huge sucker for neons. So I'm definitely going to be swatching this yellow right here. And I think I'm also gonna swatch this purple because between the radioactive stack from Melt where I use that yellow constantly and the Juvia's Place palette, the Zulu one, um, where they have a purple that I actually like a whole heck of a lot as well. I think that it would be interesting to see how these compare to some shadows that I reach for over and over and over again. Anyways, so that's how the colors compare to shadows that I use constantly. I feel like even though this swatch is smoother, because again, swatches mean nothing, um, at least on camera, this one appears, the Jaclyn one seems brighter, but when I look at it in person, that is not how I feel. So I don't know, I don't know. I mean, they seem to have the same vibrancy to me. So that's exciting because I use this palette all the time and people always talk about how tricky it is to make neons, but first impression, uh, first impression so far is that um, that's, that's, we like, we like her. So I'm gonna go wash all this off my hand um, because I'm gonna continue to touch this white palette and then um, we're gonna jump into the look. Primed my eyes with the P. Louise base and now I'm just gonna build up some yellow. Oh my God. <laughs> I wanna go in with the color called my man. Since we are doing, we're gonna do a butterfly. So, you know, I don't necessarily need the most precise placement, but I do need the blend to be beautiful. Actually, so far I like these neon shades equally, uh, equally as much as I like the neons from, um, from my Melt Cosmetics. And that says something because they have been some like ride or dies for me. Little to no fallout. And I will say that the, like my pans have barely been disturbed either. There's not a lot of kickback so far. Nothing crazy. I don't know. I'm So far I'm a happy camper. Just cause it's not negative doesn't mean it's not true. This is the shade I'm the most worried about. This is living my best. It is a red. It's got um, a little bit of shimmer in it. Looks like there's some reflect. I have a hard time with reds. I know that they're hard to make. Um, and I haven't like been searching that long for a good one, but I will say again that I was really disappointed in some of the few that I've tried. I don't know if you can hear that, but there are elephants living above me. It's great. Okay, so now on to the super fun part. This is where we turn it into a butterfly. All right, no, I messed up. I'm gonna have to try this again. That just goes to show like every time I try to do something new, especially if it's like eye art, um, I, I'm not gonna say mess up because we're gonna call them learning opportunities. <laughs> I learn a lot. Anyways, I'm going to go do all of those same shadow thingies. Hopefully we can recreate it on the other side. 
Um, I'm taking the tiniest little flat brush that I have. This is great for, um, let's see, that, that video that I did where I um, cut my crease with clouds. Yeah, that's what I used. Um, I'm probably not gonna talk during this. This is very, uh, you know, it's very intense. It's like surgery, um, except for that um, it's not. I know it's just eyeshadow, but my body is under so much stress right now that if I like had dormant superpowers, now is when they would appear. So we have the Butterfly Basics down. I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm gonna pop on some lashes, I think, and then we're gonna move on to the bottom row because I want to play with, oh, that hurt. Anyways, so I'm gonna take the color Tipsy Girl and I'm gonna messily run that along the bottom. That was Tipsy Girl. Now I'm gonna go into Stay True. Um, I'm taking my brush and I'm laying it on its side. Instead of like packing that, I'm like swiping. And I'm dragging that like three fourths of the way in. Up this <laughs> Not My Journey, which is one of the ones that we swatched earlier. And I'm gonna keep that pretty tight on the lash line. Mm. Tap into the I'm In It because it's like a, like a pearlescent white that looks like it has a little bit of like some kind of reflect in it. I don't know, it's pretty, but it definitely is more subtle than what I really wanted. Then I'm gonna take the color Crazy, which is a little bit deeper, and we're gonna hit just the tail of that wing right on the bottom, because it's not black, but it's deep enough to wear the black doesn't seem to like come out of nowhere. So I'm taking that color Positivity. I use eyeshadow as blush all the time, depending on the look I'm doing. And I usually do just like this, where I apply it a little bit and then I take my Beauty Blender, which usually has like the faintest bit of concealer or foundation left on it. And I just kind of work it into the skin. I'm gonna take that same color that we popped right here and pop it onto my cheekbones. The big question is what kind of lip do you do with something this fun? Okay, so after playing with literally every lip color I have in my arsenal, I finally just went with my favorite lipstick, which is Naughty by Nature from Too Faced. It's one of their melted mattes. I usually actually wear yellow eyeshadow and a brown lip, so it's perfectly fitting. I kind of feel like my face needs a little something extra because like this is super like dramatic. We like her, but she might need, she might need some faux freckles. I love this. Um, next time that I play with it, I, I want to play with some of these um, metallic shades, some of these like shimmers. Um, and, and yeah, I want to get, I want to get more into like the the berry tones, like I'm into the berry. Um, as far as like the live in my best, I know I mentioned earlier that I was <sighs> concerned about the red in the palette. I, I don't know if I just have really high standards, um, knowing that red is like one of the hardest shades to create and also knowing how disappointed I was in the one with sugar pill. This one is by far so much better 
but I don't know that it gave me exactly what I was looking for, so I'm gonna keep playing with it. Maybe it's the way that I applied. Maybe I need to do more packing and less blending because I know some of these are pressed pigments as opposed to a traditional eyeshadow. But um, overall, my first impressions of the palette is that it is beautiful. I love that when I swatched these compared to the shadows that I always use from Melt Cosmetics and from Juvia's Place, that the vibrancy was equivalent. That was kind of nice. And then um, in comparing the two, so like putting Jaclyn 1, filthy, next to Jaclyn 2, um, just to kind of like just so this one can see its future. Um, I've seen some comments online that the two palettes are incredibly similar. There are a couple shades that seem like they're gonna be similar. Um, in swatching them though, I, I do feel like the Jaclyn 2 palette is made for that warmer, that warmer babe. Whereas I know from having like used the Jaclyn one for the last two years in weddings and everything that like when you want a no makeup makeup look or if you want like a soft day glam like that, it's a good palette. And so I stand by the Morphe, um, the Morphe one. And I do think that there's actually more versatility in that palette simply because you get pops of weird color plus some like warm neutrals and some shimmers and you can create uh, a lot more, I think, cause like the, these are really fun, but I do think they're all on the same like plane. Like the contrast is between like red and purple, purple being a slightly more cool tone and red being like hot fire flames. So that was a Whitney Simmons moment for you. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm really pleased with the palette. I'm looking forward to playing with it more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. It was a little less of a tutorial and definitely more so of a, let's play with this new palette together so I could give you some of my thoughts. For those of you who would be interested in a more neutral um, eye look, please comment that down below and then let me know what your thoughts are of it from looking at the campaigns, from looking um, at it maybe in person come see me so again thank you guys so so much and um yeah i will see you in the next video